Legacy Family Tree has been around for over two decades, first released back in 1997 by Millennia Corporation. Known for its detailed data entry options, robust charting, and strong sourcing tools, Legacy quickly became a favorite among serious genealogists. Over the years, we've seen steady updates, with version 9 bringing in things like web hints, reports in over 30 languages, and the Legacy Family Search integration. Now with Legacy 10, there's a lot of curiosity. Did they deliver something new or just polish the old? Let's break down what's new in Legacy 10 and what's actually worth your time. 1. Tree Hints Tree Hints is Legacy's answer to Ancestry and Family Search's web hints. It scans online collections and offers possible record matches for people in your tree, starting with Find Me Past and Genealogy Bank. It's smart, it's fast, and honestly, it's about time. 2. Fan Charts Legacy has always been strong with charts, but fan charts bring a modern visual punch. You can display up to 10 generations, color code by gender or line, and export beautiful PDFs for printing or sharing. 3. Updated Interface Legacy's UI has always been, let's say, utilitarian, but version 10 finally softened some edges. The icons are cleaner, menus are more streamlined, and window scaling finally works better on modern displays. 4. Reports and Printing Enhancements Reports now come with improved formatting options. Fonts, colors, and layouts are easier to customize. And yes, PDF export finally respects page margins consistently. 5. Better GEDCOM imports and exports For those working across platforms or using DNA tools that require GEDCOMs, Legacy 10's export is cleaner, better tagged, and more consistent, especially for sourcing. All right, let's talk first impressions. I've been using Legacy 10 for a few days, and here's what stands out. Speed. Startup is noticeably faster, and moving between tabs feels more responsive than Legacy 9. User interface. Still not flashy, but it's less overwhelming for new users. If you're coming from Family Tree Maker or Roots Magic, the learning curve is a bit steeper, but not unbearable. Data entry. Still one of the strongest in the business. If you're meticulous with your research, Legacy gives you full control. Web integration. Still weak. Aside from tree hints, there's no native sync with Ancestry or MyHeritage. That could be a deal breaker for some. You know, when a new version of any genealogy software drops, the big question is, did they finally listen to what we've been asking for? So I went through some forums, Facebook groups, and even the legacy user mailing list to get a sense of what long-time users really wanted from version 10. Let's go through the wish list and see what's actually been delivered and what's still just wishful thinking. Modern charts. A big yes here. The new fan charts are visually stunning and flexible. You can customize colors, choose how many generations to show, and they export beautifully. This has been on people's radar for years and legacy delivered. Hinting system. Another check mark. Tree Hints is Legacy's version of automatic record suggestions. Right now it pulls from Find Me Past and Genealogy Bank, and it's surprisingly accurate. But users are already hoping for future integrations with more platforms. Cloud backup or syncing. Still a no on this one. Legacy 10 doesn't offer any kind of Tree Vault style cloud sync like Family Tree Maker or even Dropbox style integration. If you want backups, you'll still have to do that manually or set up your own syncing system. Mobile app or companion viewer. Another common request. People want a simple way to view their tree on a phone or tablet. Sadly, there's still no legacy mobile app. For a lot of us doing research at archives or libraries, that's a real missed opportunity. Improved citation system. This one's a bit in the middle. Legacy still has a very detailed citation system, but it can feel a bit clunky. There have been a few interface tweaks in version 10 that help, but compared to something like Roots Magic's templates, it's not quite there yet. So overall, 
Yes, Legacy 10 checks off a few major boxes, especially around visuals and hinting. But there are still some long-standing requests, like cloud syncing and mobile support, that we'll have to keep waiting for. What features are you still waiting for in Legacy? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear. Thank you for watching, and happy research!